you could just tell me a little bit about um, how you got into physical therapy and your name and your company would be yeah, great. So uh, my name is Ryan Johnson. I work for Benchmark Physical Therapy. Um, I just recently graduated. I graduated last December. So this is my first full year out working. Um, how I got into physical therapy, I was a big three sport athlete in high school growing up. Um, so I knew I always wanted to get into like the sports side of something. Um, and then unfortunately I had a couple of buddies get hurt um, while playing football my junior and senior year of high school. And they had to like go through physical therapy and everything. And uh, fortunately I was, I never had to do it, but seeing them go through rehab and them being able to get back on the field um, and like what they went through, I was like, that's, that's something I want to do. I want to help like athletes and even individuals kind of get through a very tough part of their life. Um, dealing with injuries, dealing with setbacks, getting them back to doing the things that they love to do. Um, so that was really my like, eye-opening moment being like, that's, that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. Ryan, what type of education and preparation did you have to get into being a physical therapist? Yeah, so um, I started off, I went to Appalachian State for four years to receive my undergrad degree. Um, I believe, if I remember right, my course was, uh, I, I majored in exercise science uh, with a pre-professional track, and it was for like people going to physical therapy school or med school and making sure their class is aligned with applying to grad school. Um, and then once I finished up my degree there, I applied to physical therapy school, um, which is now a three year program. Um, it's all of it, uh, you get your doctoral degree. And I went to Winston-Salem State um, for three years and graduated in December of 19. So for a total of seven years, um, I did have to apply to PT school twice. I did not get in the first time because it is really, really competitive. And um, so I worked for a little bit, gained some experience, tried to boost the resume and applied a second time and got in. And then here I am today. So seven years. Very good. You mentioned um, PT school. What did you need to have um, to get into physical therapy school? Yeah, so the big thing is, um, you gotta work super hard in undergrad. Uh, make sure your classes are aligning with your prerequisites that are required uh, to even apply for PT school. Um, and really make sure you use those freshman and sophomore years of undergrad. Um, keep that GPA as high as possible. Um, you don't wanna get to your late sophomore, junior, senior year and be like, oh wait, I should have tried harder in these earlier classes because that can really affect your GPA. Um, and also just be very involved with things. Um, be involved with like um, student council, um, just different clubs that your school has to offer. Um, I know schools, they, they look at a lot of different things. And so trying to be as well-rounded of a student um, not just worrying about your GPA, being a very well-rounded student, being active, being in clubs. Um, I think that goes a long way. And as well as um, taking the GRE exam, kind of like the SAT, um, and just making sure your score is as just high as possible. Um, and just all, everything together and mixed in with your shadowing hours, um, that's really gonna be the best bet into getting into school. What are the, um, some of the differences between physical therapy assistant and a physical therapist, and then other jobs too that um, are similar to physical therapy? So the big difference between a physical therapist and a physical therapist assistant, um, we have to go a total of seven years and get our doctoral degree. Um, and that is so that people can come in our clinic and we can be able to clinically decide whether they need to see us for like a musculoskeletal injury or whether we need to refer them out. Um, so physical therapists are the ones that we uh, make their plan of cares, um, see how long they need to come, what we're gonna work on. And physical therapist assistants are the ones they, they put, put them through their exercises. They do a lot of great things. Um, exercises have some great techniques, um, but the physical therapists are the ones that kind of make the, the bigger decisions on their plan of care. Um, and physical therapist assistant, I think it's only 
maybe a two or three year degree. Um, and a lot of like the technical schools have them. Um, so it's a great profession, but the, the biggest thing is just the, you gotta go to school longer to be a physical therapist. And with that just comes uh, more responsibility with the job. And yeah, uh, tons of other professions that are related to physical therapy. You got occupational therapy, um, and you, we don't really do a lot of occupational, like work with occupational therapists here, um, but in, if you're in a hospital setting, you work hand in hand with occupational therapists to improve their function, just to get them home safely. Um, and also chiropractors, um, we kind of work hand in hand with them as well. Um, there is a little difference between physical therapists and chiropractors, um, but definitely being able to refer to each other um, as sources and everything, every occupation that is in the healthcare field, the main thing is just getting the patient better. And so knowing who to go to, um, and they're all fantastic careers. Great. What type of things would you recommend to students to do now while they're in high school? Uh, so in high school, uh, it's all about just gaining experience. Um, whether that be going to like local clinics and trying to get some job like shadowing hours, um, just getting involved with the clinic, kind of seeing what they do there, um, as well as like enrolling in some elective classes that may not be required to graduate, but some like anatomy physiology classes, um, like a kinesiology type class, sports medicine, anything along the lines of like musculoskeletal, learning about the human body, um, all of those are gonna be fantastic ways to one, get your foot in the door. It's only gonna look good on your resume, um, but it also like allows you to make sure that's what you wanna go into. And um, yeah, just being involved um, with your local like teams, allow trainers, getting involved with the athletes if that's what you wanna do. Um, but that's the biggest advice I could give is just be as proactive as you can and just gain as much experience as you can. Um, but overall, that experience is big. What type of patients do physical therapists work with? Yes, yeah, so that is all depending on what you wanna do. Uh, so physical therapy is like this big broad term um, with a lot of different like, areas encompassed all together. Um, so like my specialty is like athletes. Um, I do a lot with fitness athletes, overhead athletes, baseball players. Um, so that's my kind of specialty. Um, so in my clinic, I try to like go to the local uh, high schools and like other um, sports places, get try to get the athletes in here. But you're also going to see your typical like just low back patients, like your everyday workers that just get injured on the job, um, trying to get them back to full functioning. But besides like a typical, that would be your typical outpatient setting. Um, you also have hospital settings. Um, I know I did a clinical rotation on a neuro stroke floor, helping individuals um, come back from like having a stroke, helping them walk again. Um, you also have like pediatrics working with like, like really small kids from like birth to um, like 10 years old, um, like special needs type kids as well, um, as well as like women's health. Um, so really, it, it depends on what setting you want to go into and that's the great thing about physical therapy is that you can really choose a path that is that is right for you and that you really enjoy working with so um, you can really do about whatever you want which is great right, so what type of equipment do you use with your clients yeah so um, we have several different kinds of like cardio equipment here usually uses like an active warm-up for the patients um, get the blood flowing and getting them ready to perform the exercises um, throughout the day. Um, we have some like lower extremity strengthening stuff. We have um, multiple tables set up around the room and that is for us to do our hands-on manual therapy work um, to try to get the patient like out of pain or just getting, getting them moving better. Um, Back in the back corner, we have a bunch of uh, our TheraBand set um, that's used a lot for our strengthening, um, whether it be like shoulders, um, arms, whatever, whatever ne uh, needs the patient has. Um, we also have a cable machine kind of to progress from our bands. And we also have 
a sled and a lot of functional equipment. Um, we do a lot with uh, workers trying to get back to like working their full like job duty and a lot of lifting. Um, so we have a lot of boxes and different equipment that can simulate work tasks and getting them back to functioning. Um, but yeah, so a little bit of everything to kind of all wrap up into like one treatment session.